Carefully think through the following questions before you answer. Question 1. How many months have 28 days? If you say 1, just February, 1, you're wrong. So all 12 months have 28 days. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. They all have 28 days, but some have 28 days and 2 extra. 30 days. Some have 28 days and 3 extra. 31 days. February has 28 days only. So, all months have 28 days. Question 2. What is 10 divided by half? 10 divided by half. 1 over 2. Okay, if you say 5, you're wrong. 5 is the wrong answer. 10 divided by 1 half, 1 over 2, is 20. Yeah. Now, 2 halves make 1. 2 halves, 2 1 halves make 1. So, in 10, you have 10 ones. And each one is made up of 2 halves. So, in 10 ones, you have 2 halves in 10 places. That's 20 halves. So, 10 divided by half, you have 20. Let's solve it. That would be 10 divided by 1 half. And then we change the division to multiplication. We do the reverse operation. That is times, and when that happens, this is reciprocated. It is inverted, 2 over 1. So 10 times 2, 20 divided by 1 is 20. That's the answer. So 10 divided by 1 half equals 20, not 5. Question 3. If a car is traveling at a speed of 20 kilometers per hour, how long will it take the car to travel a distance of 20 kilometers? A car is moving, is traveling at a speed of 20 kilometers per hour. How long, how much time will it take the car to cover a distance of 20 kilometers? Okay, the correct answer is one hour. The speed is 20 kilometers per hour. Per hour means in one hour. So in one hour, it is covering 20 kilometers. So how long is it going to take for you to cover 20 kilometers? One hour. Simple answer. Question four. How many times can you subtract 10 from 100? How many times can you subtract 10 from 100? It's a simple one. Okay, the correct answer is 10. In other words, how many 10 can you get from 100? You subtract 10 from 100, you have 90. You subtract another 10, you have 80. You subtract another 10, you have 70. So at the end, you will have subtracted 10 tens for you to have nothing more. So 100 divided by 10, that's what you're doing. How many tens can you subtract from 100? That is 100 divided by 10. How many tens are there in 100? There are 10 tens. So how many times can you subtract 10 from 100? 10 times. That is just it. Bye for now.